Pumpfest is a festival put on by Dan Savage and The Stranger in Seattle. Amateur porn festival. Be a porn star for a night, not forever. And we had a story about how we met and we thought that uh, it would be a, a really great story. How did you guys, uh, what did you guys first meet? Well, which version should we tell? Should we tell the, uh, the real version? The real version <laughs> or the friends and family version? <laughs> tell the real version. All right, the real version. Although it's about sex, it's less about showing sex than yeah. some of the films. It's also a story about the way that people can meet each other that might be unusual and they can still find love in that unusual moment. Well, we, we met one of those kind of unusual ways, not, not too much different than a one night stand, except that we actually met in a, uh, a dirty bookstore. <laughs> You could just and, call uh, it a bookstore. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that we, prior to making this film, that we had told the true story very many times. No, we I can't. Had not. And then one night, I went to a bar, and there was a guy playing pinball next to me. That was the first time I saw Jeff. So many people came up to us after seeing the film that told us that, yeah, they'd never told them, they were embarrassed to tell the real story, or they had a real story of somebody that they were in love with, but they wouldn't pursue the, the relationship because of the way that they met. You know, our story came out without any shame, uh, without any embarrassment. We just told our story, and that's one of the things so many people loved about it is that we told it without shame. I was excited when we got in the film festival, but a little nervous because it was the first time we were really putting that story out there in such a public sort of way. Even though we knew it was for a narrowed audience, it still, for me, made me a little nervous. Yeah, so the first time uh, we'd gone out to the festival, so this was going to be the first time that we'd ever seen it on a, a big screen, and we were standing outside in the lobby of the theater. All we could hear was the film talking and the reaction of the audience. <laughs> oh my God. One of the really cool things about doing uh, Glory Hole was we got to meet Dan Savage. Well, I think Dan said that that was uh, one of his favorite movies. Yeah. And it did win. After it premiered at the Humpfest, of course, it went on tour. And then it hit a lot of um, LGBT film festivals. And the next big time we got to see it, it was so exciting because it was at the Frameline Film Festival in San Francisco showing at the Castro Theater. We spent a lot of time in the Castro Theater. The Castro Theater actually meant a great deal to us uh, because it was right around the corner. Just having our, our first meeting on film and then for it to be shown in front of a large group of right. people, especially on that beautiful theater right. in the Castro, oh my goodness. They brought us up on stage to do that question and answer yeah. thing, that was a lot of fun. And we have that picture that we, as soon as we were walking up, you're like, we're gonna do a selfie when we get on stage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then it was selected to be on a the bonus feature on a DVD that went along with a French film. And I don't know what you said after that, that, you know, it's not really our story any longer. It's no. out there and people relate to it. I think for both of us, the film opened us up to giving us a stronger voice, a more authentic voice, mm. uh, because we finally shared this story that we kept secret because I, I would say we kept it secret because we were ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. And we let go of that shame and told the story. So when you finally mention these things that are taboo or shameful for people, they really want to share with you back. Didn't you find that? Mm -hmm. That's your answer? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing with you. I'm walking off set right now. Yep, that's my answer. <laughs>